What's up everyone, it's Ryan here with Green Tech Network. I recently got a 3D printer and I've been doing some modifications to it, so I figured I'd show you those modifications just in case any of you out there are looking for ideas. The printer I have here is a cheap Chinese one, it was around $180 off of eBay, but these modifications can most likely be done to any 3D printer that you have. So the first modification is a fan that cools down the main board that does all of the motor driving and control. You can see the fan itself is right here. It's a little dark over there in this corner. And I still need to put a grill on the fan so the wires don't, you know, bump into the blades. But it's working well right now. That's tied directly to the power supply uh, 12 volts. So it turns on right when the actual device is plugged in. I mounted it to the board with a 3D printed PCB fan mount. I'll upload or I'll put on the in the description a link to the files that I used. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's like a script, and you can adjust the parameters. Like this fan is 92 millimeters, which is a very strange uh, size for a fan, but it was able to easily uh, match up the dimensions for that. And then you can change the how far it comes off the board, um, how big the supports are, and all of that. So. It just fits so that there's enough clearance, if you see, for one of for the um, uh, the uh, x-axis motor, for so that it, the, it doesn't hit the fan. So I measured all that out. And then the other one, which is pretty cool, is um, I added an LED strip up along uh, underneath that little edge here. It's all up in here, and I wired a switch up top. Just drilled a hole in the. Uh, frame and put in a little switch which you can see back there there's the wiring and then that just goes down into the 12 volt power supply so you just hit the switch and it lights everything up the lights are a little bit bluer than I was hoping for I ordered a uh, set of bright white and I was hoping they would just be you know like a like a um, just a very white color but these are a little bit towards the bluish spectrum they're not as blue as it looks on the camera, so I'm looking through the viewfinder right now. Um, but they are a little bit bluer than I was hoping. But these are basically just the 50-50 um, uh, SMD LEDs. And they run off of 12 volts, so they work fine with the 12 volt power supply there. And let me just turn off these lights real quick, and I'll show you what it looks like with the lights fully off. So this is with all the lights off. You can just see my computer's over there um, controlling it. It lights up the room a decent amount, um, so it is pretty bright, which is nice. I wouldn't want to go to sleep with it on, with the lights on, obviously. But the one thing that is kind of unfortunate is there's this shadow here from the, um, from the uh, x-axis there. So that's kind of annoying, so it makes it kind of hard to see what's going on in the actual print. I was trying to put some LEDs kind of along the bottom of the extruder assembly. It doesn't get too hot down there as long as you stay away from the nozzle. So they couldn't get the 12 volt LEDs to work in a very small strip. They have to kind of be in a larger strip like that. So I might order something a little different and mount it down there and then just, you know, run the wires up here um, from the extruder control and uh, all that. Well, that's pretty much it, and you can see the switch up here, it lights up when you press it, and it's not doesn't light up when it's um, when the lights aren't on. So that's pretty much it. Uh, feel free to uh, ask if you have any questions, and thank you for watching.